can't study with our children, we cannot do anything except by candlelight. The crisis is getting worse every day. Industry has stopped. There is no heat in hospitals or kindergartens. Apartments have no heat. Electrical power plants are overloaded. And they're being run, they're being broken from the overload. There's a chronic sh catastrophic shortage of electricity. And there is a proposal to change the time for, by two hours to try to save energy. We can take this. If we have faith in the future, you can overcome anything. Armenians are very patient. Azerbaijan demands the creation of a 10 mile, 10 kilometer buffer zone between the two republics for the renewal of oil supplies. For Romania, this means another ring of blockade and, more importantly, more isolation from the Karabakh region. And Romania cannot accept these terms. In Baku, the Supreme Session, session of Azerbaijan continued its work very productively. Uh, after 74 years, the land is a will be given over to the peasants for free. A law on homesteads was passed today also, and reviewed were issues concerning Nagorno-Karabakh and Armenia. The second half of the day, the parliament discussed the law on people's deputy recall. The session continues its work today. Today, Soviet President Gorbachev met trade union representatives. Discussions started with an ultimative. The trade union leaders declared that if economic, uh, the economic situation and price, free market prices is not accompanied by measures to protect society, then the unions will not cooperate in the economic reform. Gorbachev's position was that the trade unions can have uh, more influence in the republics to prevent the disintegration of economic ties. Tomorrow the state Soviets will um, discuss the proposed union treaty. We have uh, prepared a recommendation for a social contract, for social welfare, it must be confirmed by all the participants of the economic union and it will guarantee the social welfare of all people in this period of economic transition. I was very happy to read in the newspaper Trud an article where it says that the Russian Council of Ministers under Yeltsin at its first session will review the package of social protection laws which will protect the welfare of the people during this economic transition period. The Soviet Union is seeking customers for its space program, which until recently was top secret. BBC reports. And a group of experts, foreign experts, are in the USSR to look over the potential goods, which are nuclear reactors, Sputniks, and space stations. When Mendeleev was alive, there existed around 200 scientists in the world, and all the physicists of Russia could sit on one couch. Now the Academy of Sciences of the USSR hosts 66,000 scientists. With the division of the Union, the largest of the republics, Russia, no longer has its own Academy of Sciences. But although most academy facilities are located inside of Russia, the fate of two academies is being decided today. This is, this is the vice president of the Academy of Sciences of the USSR, Velikov. The Union Academy always considered itself the Russian Academy. And it functioned at the Union level lately, was that of a coordinator. It made all efforts possible to create academies 
in the republics, and they have been created and they function today. And in order to further develop science in our country, we must renew the status and the name of the Russian Academy. This decision has been approved by Yeltsin at a session. Academy of Sciences reports a brain drain. More than 50,000 Soviets, 50,000 Soviet citizens have emigrated to the United States this year. Many of them are scientists. The 500 best space scientists of the USSR are on temporary contracts overseas. This trend will continue. At a meeting of the International Atomic Agency, a new problem is being discussed. The Soviet nuclear specialists are emigrating, and may, perhaps 100,000 such specialists this year will um, become unemployed due to cutbacks in military needs and um, cutbacks in development of civilian atomic energy due to Chernobyl, the Chernobyl catastrophe. 10,000 Soviet specialists might want to immigrate in the near future, reports a French newspaper, and some of them are already advertising themselves in English in Moscow newspapers. But these specialists will probably need the approval of the, of the US, USA, which does not really want to absorb so many nuclear specialists because the United States also is cutting back on its military needs. The West fears that Soviet specialists might want to immigrate to third world nations and help them develop nuclear weapons. Iraqi nuclear facilities are, have been destroyed, but Iran is considering developing its nuclear weapons program, claiming that, that it has the same rights that Israel does. Five years ago, there was a scandal in the U.S. because of the secret sale to Israel of nuclear detonators. Now, the Soviet Union might be producing similar detonators, and the New York Times claims that an unnamed Soviet company has already expressed the desire to sell these detonators to anyone who can pay for them with hard currency. Despite all difficult difficulties, our scientists are making new advance, advances. The, uh, the 50th heart, heart transplant in the USSR has been performed today. This, the operation team included many foremost Soviet medical specialists. The operation lasted seven hours. It was being done on Mrs. Baranova, a teacher. You should get up and I need to get up and move already. I feel okay. And the cabinet office of the chief surgeon, uh, academician Shumakov. Many of his former patients have become participants in sports events and have been winning gold, gold medals. This is unbelievable, but it's true. Complete psychological and physiological rehabilitation of his patients. We have many problems for the future. We need new uh, machines, which we are, which are not produced in the Soviet Union. You are working in a very expensive sphere of medicine. How do you make ends meet? This is the director of the institute, academic Shumakov. Our, our sphere is very expensive. Our sphere is medicine. We take patients from abroad, from overseas, for kidney transplants in general. And we perform these operations for hard currency. This gives us the opportunity to perform more operations on Soviet patients. Today's your birthday. You've turned 60. We congratulate you. How do you feel this day? Today, I feel okay. 
news is continuously changing in the last second and uh, so our correspondents have a difficult time providing accurate information however the, at the beginning of every month our citizen is waiting for a uh, pay raise over here with no warning from November 12th the prices for three types of bread have been raised dramatically up to three rubles 360 ru three rubles 60 kopecks per loaf the people are aghast where is the truth tell me where is truth this the sellers have started to dry the bread because no one's buying it it's too expensive the factories producing these breads have um, started producing more simple breads which are cheaper 